Hello everybody, and my name is Minkaro, and this is The Wolf Among Us. Now what I'm going to do in this video, as I've done for the past two episodes of a game, is look for the new Book of Fables entries that I've unlocked, and sort of have a read through them. Um, as you'll see from the screen here, there's a few, uh, one, two, three, four, that I've missed. Um, I'm not going to go back through the game and get those... Um, you know, so I can have read all of them. If you want to see what's in those, I advise um, it's probably a website somewhere that has the details of them. I'm just going to read the ones that are relevant to the game that I'm playing, to the ones that I've unlocked. So the first one of that is Vivian, uh, George Skill. Much of Vivian's past is unknown, since she prefers not to talk about her life back in the homelands. She wanted to start fresh in Fable Town. But she finds herself working for Georgie at a pudding and pie. It's not a terrible life. Georgie took a liking to Vivian, so he doesn't make her take jobs at the open arms. Instead, she plays hostess and helps Georgie ensure complete customer satisfaction. Okay, I have no idea who she's actually meant to meant to be in the sense of the fables, but uh, cool. Yeah. Dr. Swinehart, the army surgeon. Dr. Swinehart is the resident Fable Town physician. So skilled in the art of instrumental surgery that he can safely operate on himself. He served as an army medic for many years, sometimes using his talents to impress the locals. He currently runs a special research section of the Knights of Malta Hospital, so named to discourage people from investigating what is actually a reserved, fables focused health facility. Ah. Okay, so he's obviously a very good medic. Uh, obviously, we've seen um, from the next time thing that he's managed to treat Big B for being shot by a silver bullet. The Trip Trap Bar. The Water Coal. The oldest bar in New York City. The Trip Trap was established in 1725 in secret by Starkad, the legendary Viking and reprobate, as a place for fables to meet, drink, and commiserate. Known then as the Grammarian's Tavern, he quickly lost it in a bet to a tribe of mountain trolls, who quickly renamed it and made it their own. Holly is a current proprietor, having inherited it from her mother when she died in a boating accident in the early 20th century. Okay, okay we'll, we'll go with that. Control, con, control swing. Anti Greenleaf, the white deer. That's uh, deer as in the animal. Horticulturalist, alchemist, and lover of animals. Auntie Greenleaf is one of the few rogue witches still living outside of the thirteenth floor, unsupervised and unrestricted. Rumoured to have lost a daughter in the homeland, she suffered paranoia and depressive mood swings, and will only venture outside at, at irregular hours under the guise of an ethereal white deer, ah, okay. an off-whispered spectre of Brookhaven natives. Yes, and we chose not to burn down her tree. So hopefully she remembers that, and hopefully she helps us out if we need her to. Uh, Glamour Tube, the handy disguise. Glamours can be produced in a variety of ways, but one of the most common due to its ease of use is to take a small, hollowed out tube or container and place it within several items unique to whomever the cast wants to copy. A witch is required for the reactionary charm. Two downsides of this type of glamour is that totally unique appearances are completely impossible and the nature of a vessel makes it quite unstable. Yeah, we saw um um thing over here, um so I forgot her name, Auntie Greenleaf. And when she was turned from a little girl back into herself, it obviously caused her quite a bit of pain. The Ring of Dispel, the Arthurian Band. Reputed to be fashioned by a Byzantine clan, or Byzantine, 
uh, however, in an attempt to ward off a coven of witches, the Ring of Dispel, or Dispelling Ring, or Magic Cancelling Ring, eventually was given to Lancelot by the Lady in the Lake. Recovered by the business office after the emigration to New Amsterdam, it was assigned to Greenleaf for caretaking. Ah, okay. Um, so, see, the Arthurian stories involved in this at all. I mean, I haven't seen Arthur, I haven't seen Lancelot, I haven't seen... Uh, what's his fa The Green Knight? Uh, I've forgotten what his name is. Um, but anyway, I haven't seen any of them, but if, if they're in it, this could take a whole new interesting turn. Bloody Mary, the Urban Legend. The true history of a person known as Bloody Mary is almost completely unknown, even to fables most acquainted with its members. Her name, Mary, at least, is not up to for contention, nor has her penchant for shocking violence and inlaid resistance to magic and spells, and a strange ability to use any reflective service as a portal, effectively cutting short or short cutting space and time. Thought by Mondays to be the wailing apparition of a childless ghost, though any evidence of that is as yet unseen. Ah, okay. So, a load of uh, new characters that have come into it. Obviously we don't have a, a Book of Fables entry yet for the Crooked Man, and I think it's going to be quite a while before we see him in his full Crooked um, guise. Uh, anyway, uh, that's this latest Book of Fables entries video. I hope people enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Take care, and goodbye.